What's up guys, it's LOH Low Tech. Me doing a quick unboxing of the EK Waterblocks Fluid Gaming A240R. So EK Waterblocks makes a lot of water products for computers in terms of cooling. Fluid Gaming is their aluminum line. So the parts in here are not interchangeable with the, the copper or the nickel ones because they can cause a lot of problems if you do. So this is the aluminum line. The A240R is the edition that supports AMD Vega, as well as supports uh, a number of processors as well, including Ryzen, but also Intel processors in there too. There is a different version that does support the NVIDIA 1080, 1060, that kind of range, uh, but that would be a A240G, and this is A240R. So taking a look at the box, a lot of information right here uh, on top here, and I'll let you read that too, but um, long short of it, it comes with everything you really need in order to do a self-contained liquid setup, uh, cooling your GPU and your CPU. Um, and there's a lot of things it claims. It claims that it has a unique design. I mean, we'll, we'll see how that is. Uh, easy installation, we'll, we'll see how that goes too. Performance on demand. Um, I guess it all depends on how your, your fan controller works, but uh, yep, that I guess you can do that too. And future-proof. Uh, as long as you stick with aluminum, this is an upgradable system. If you do not, you know, if you want to do something a little bit more advanced in the future, you want to do a copper, all of this is garbage. So it, it is future-proof as long as you stay within the aluminum line. Uh, nothing too much else here. You can kind of see a quick diagram of how it would set up. Uh, there is a 240 millimeter radiator, that's, just, that's where the 240 comes from. Um, and that's about it on that side. Same thing right here. So let's take a look what's inside. They did also ship me a little band. It says hashtag legendary. I guess a little EK water block symbol on here. So yeah, if you're really into that, it may or may not be included in your order. <laughs> and you can kind of see big warning label here. This is aluminum, don't use copper, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Manual here, not sure if that really counts as full color because it's just black, red, and white, uh, but at least it's useful in setting it up. I don't know a lot of packages that come with the air containers inside the box with the with the actual product in there. Usually that's the packing material that goes around the box, but hey, whatever works. Fan, fan, both these are F3 fans, so they are not their highest or their lowest end, but they, they do work. Take a look in here. This is the 240 millimeter radiator here fairly light. Doesn't feel too terribly different than a lot of the radiators you get in all-in-one units, although they usually have the cables that are all connected, so you may not know exactly what it feels like by itself. Several screws and an Allen wrench. Thermal paste, screws, connectors, double-sided tape for something. This is like chewing gum, but I believe it's double-sided tape. User guide, separate from the other one. Another warning, they really wanna make sure you don't blame them when you mess everything up. Here is what makes this particular box unique. The water block for Vega. Yeah, it doesn't come with a back plate. Uh, you can use the same one that comes on the card itself. Uh, it does save them a few extra bucks. But you can see the connector here. This is all aluminum block and has the one connector here. And the, obviously the, the connections for the water would go there. Mounting bracket, you may or may not need all these pieces because well, these we would need, you may not need all these. Um, because it does come with components. That is a big Allen wrench. Um, it does come with a lot of components to fit either AMD or Intel processors. So 
there should be leftover material at the end. Piping, it is the flexible kind. It's not the one you're gonna use a heat gun to, to shape. Connectors for, looks like, power. Uh, and that's a little fan controller. Connectors. More fan connectors. This connects onto the motherboard. More thermal paste, so thermal paste in two places. So one is probably for the GPU, one's for the CPU, but if you're frugal, you could probably use it on both, unless there's a particular, doesn't say like one's for the other or not. Um, it does come with the clear compound right off, the, right off the, the bat. I thought it would probably make more sense that it came with red, because this is the Vega edition and all that stuff, but it comes with clear, which is fine. You can always buy a different color later if you want. More mounting brackets, more mounting brackets. All of these are for whatever processor you have. There's a full list on their website. More connectors for the tubing for the processor. Put that in here. The water pump itself, it is all contained with the, the storage unit for the liquid. It's a pretty small one, so it doesn't hold a whole lot. The, the cooling potential of this one is gonna be pretty pretty minimal compared to something you can get with a huge cooler that pumps out stuff, but for the most part, it looks really nice. And then the actual CPU block itself. Um, connectors go onto here, and this will connect to whatever one of these blocks you end up using to mount this. So, however, that's going to end up going. Uh, I am going to install this on my Ryzen system and put this through, obviously, on my Vega card. You got, I will hopefully have some more data for you guys um, in the future on this. Uh, I don't particularly think looking at thermals is very interesting uh, for, <laughs> for a video, so I probably won't do a video on that. But if you guys have any questions about how this works and you know, the temperatures are end up being, uh, I do overclock usually running about 3.9 gigahertz on the Ryzen chip I use, a 1700X. And uh, actually I normally underclock the Vega because it's not really needed so I can overclock the memory, but we'll see how, how this does. Thanks for watching guys, this is LOH with Low Tech and this has been a quick unboxing of the EK Waterblocks A240R. Subscribe.